right, Maggie, we're a week and a half away from Halloween. I've got it on the 10-day forecast. I'll show you in a second, but kind of scary to think about record high temperatures. In July and August, yes, they're usually around 100 degrees, but we were close to record highs today with a high of 83. No, that's not too bad. If you're going to have a record high, do it in October. 82 was our high today in Fayetteville. Not too close to the Fayetteville record, but the record high in the triangle 84 degrees. We were very close to that and way above the average highs, which are in the mid to low 70s. And tomorrow's forecast, almost as warm and equally as foggy in the morning for the fourth morning in a row. Reduced visibilities on Thursday morning, your fog forecast, which on a clear morning would have all these numbers saying 10. I think we've all adjusted to the fog forecast. Some visibilities less than a mile. So just play it safe as you head out of the neighborhood tomorrow morning and then get ready for another warm. October day. We're three weeks into the month and the 22nd day is going to be almost as warm as what today was. Again, a foggy start. Temperatures starting off around 60. We jump up to 75 by lunchtime. The clouds and fog we have in the morning will give way to some sunshine in the afternoon on our way to a high of 80 degrees. And speaking of sunshine, I want to take you back to last week in Fayetteville. Lena providing us with tonight's super sunset. Great shot. Just walking around the neighborhood. I mean, that's how easy it is. And we've had some great sunsets this week. I've got a long list compiling that'll take me into the next couple of weeks. I'll stick this one on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page if you want to take a second look. And as always, if you've got some super sunset pictures, send them my way. I promise I'll get to them eventually. Send it at CBS17.com. I try to show them every night at 11 o'clock. And there's still a cold front out there just teasing us. It's to the northwest of North Carolina. That's not the one that's going to get here, though. I've got two others that will get here on the extended forecast. In the meantime, tomorrow, High pressure will give us some sunshine in the afternoon, and this little disturbance is going to continue to throw us some clouds, probably not much rain. Let's pick up futurecast tomorrow morning. Again, clouds and some fog in the morning, but watch as we zoom through the day. Here comes some clouds getting thrown in our direction throughout the day. Pretty much what we had today. We're going to do it tomorrow. Same thing on Friday. I'll stop it Friday morning. Clouds and fog again possible in the morning, then a few clouds off and on throughout the day coming from the ocean. We're going to turn our attention to the mountains, though, as we get into Saturday. That's when this pattern is going to finally start to change. Saturday morning, we'll have some dry weather. We'll have some sunshine. It'll be another warm day. But later on Saturday, that's when the cold front approaches with a little bit of rain. We have re-added a few showers back into late Saturday afternoon. We'll talk about that second stronger cold front in just a second. But let's talk about our fourth major hurricane of the season. Tenth hurricane overall, second major hurricane just this month, that is Hurricane Epsilon. Tonight it remains a 115 mile per hour storm with a very well defined eye. Well guess what? The hurricane hunters were out in the eye today and tweeted out this picture. This is from the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron based normally in Biloxi, Mississippi, flying out of Charleston. There's the the stadium effect of the eye looking into clear skies. There's the propeller, just a great shot. So happy those men and women are out there keeping an eye on the storm for us. It's going to impact Bermuda tomorrow, bringing some swells and rip currents to the East Coast, but not a major impact. What we have is another warm day. We'll top out at 80 degrees tomorrow after some morning fog. Upper 70s Friday and Saturday, there's that first cold front. Not going to cool us down much. In fact, we hold in the 70s through next Wednesday. That's when the stronger cold front comes through. Drops us into the 60s, including for next Saturday and Halloween. We're back with more right after this.